A massive fire is sparking a reminder tonight. Yesterday, the fourth floor of a university apartment complex caught fire. But it's what started it all that has firefighters giving you a warning tonight. News 10's Rondra Moore shows us what happened and for the first time gives us a look at the damage from the inside. It's tonight's top story. Rondra. Mike Patrice, you've probably seen this before. It's incense. It's not something you'd normally think of as a fire hazard, and that's exactly why firefighters say it caused yesterday's massive fire. Thick smoke coming from such a small source, incense left alone causing a much different type of smoke. It doesn't seem very likely. In 24 years, you know, this may be the, I can't think of another instance. Fire. In fact, we tried it for ourselves just to see incense on paper outside. After just a few minutes, you can see it burn through, but no fire. But just because something is unlikely doesn't mean it's impossible. Just listen to how firefighters say it all played out. It, it was a perfect, perfect fire. There was a window that was cracked, so you had the, the wind coming in, um, blowing on the incense, which makes it glow even more and burns quicker. And then if uh, there were some... Uh, combustible nearby, paper, whatever. It doesn't take very long at all. Very long to get this. You're looking at exclusive pictures from the inside. They were sent in by a tenant on the fourth floor of the unit. It's tough to make it all out, but you can see just how much damage one of these can cause. It's enough to have Chief Jeff Fisher giving a warning. It's a warning he says he's given too many times before. When they use these type of devices, whether it's a candle, incense, or a space heater, just use common sense to put it out. Now, the 28 students displaced will be relocated to other halls on ISU's campus. Officials hope to get them back in the apartment within the next few weeks. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Rondrell. Well